मेरे प्यारे भारतवासियों और नीट पीजी साथियों गुड मॉर्निंग इट इज थ्री ए एम इन द मॉर्निंग इसको कहते हैं हमारे वेद शास्त्र में ब्रह्म मुहूर्त दिस इज द टाइम वेर ऑल अवर हार्मोनल मिलियो इज एब्सोल्यूटली रॉकिंग एट इट्स पीक एंड दिस इज द टाइम वेर अवर मेमोरी इज एट इट्स बेस्ट सो हम शुरू करेंगे आज का रिविजन आज का तारीख सेप्टेंबर ट्वेंटी फर्स्ट एंड एन अदर नाइंटी डेज यूर ऑल गोइंग टू बिकम द टॉपर्स इन द नीट पीछे सो शुरू करेंगे क्या बढ़िया सो डॉक्टर टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट इट बिट ऑफ very high yield facts very very high yield facts in the entrance exam in anesthesia and some of the other subjects i want to check how many of you are awake at morning 3 am but still let me reassure you i am also one of your classmates who is longing to become a topper so let's make the great beginning vare va medico anup medico anup is very much online now let's make a great beginning which is the muscle relaxant causing bradycardia succinyl choline is the one which you need to remember and what are all those muscle relaxants which lead to the development of tachycardia tachycardia You should remember that galbine, pancuronium, rocuronium, all are these are the muscle relaxants that lead to tachycardia. Pan is a very long-acting muscle relaxant. That's the reason you can remember rocuronium for its rapidity and galbine. all the three lead to development of tachycardia very good to see srikant panda at early morning 3 am vare va aap log you are the ones who are most inspiring students for a teacher like me doctor definitely before i go to sleep i definitely want to revise some of the definitely aane wale mcqs for the tomorrow's exam so manish naik shrikant and anup good morning to all of you which is that intravenous anesthetic which is causing bradycardia propofol is very good whenever in a intensive care unit when a patient is fighting against the ventilator that you have put him on you want to sedate him in the intensive care unit we use the propofol is what you have to basically remember very good to remember to see arbas tuglak very good now what are the intravenous anesthetics that lead to tachycardia doctor ketamine thiopentone methyhexetone which is that inhalational agent known to lead to bradycardia halothen is what you should remember acha bhaiya isko pehchano galamine these are the galamine 40 mg ampules why will you remember galamine because it is a muscle relaxant that lead to the development of tachycardia is what you need to remember now what is this doctor this is called propofol how is it looking like it is milky white it is absolutely milky white is what you need to remember so uh yeah so you should remember there is a very famous saying about propofol what is propofol called as propofol what is propofol called as propofol is called as 
milk of milk of amnesia is what you should remember what is propofol called propofol is called milk of amnesia is what you need to remember it is almost milky in consistency very good ankit is saying myasthenia gravis sensitivity is increased by the galamine absolutely right very good now doctor with regard to the succinyl choline there are few points you need to know succinyl choline can cause hyperkalemia especially when patient is having any neuromuscular disorder that's the reason it is contraindicated in nervous disease disorders like paraplegia hemiplegia gulen barre syndrome similarly in muscular dystrophies myasthenia gravis crush injuries burns rhabdomyolysis in all these scenarios succinyl choline is the one which is contraindicated is what you need to remember now doctors who is the great man who discovered anesthesia bhaiya 1947 mein india ko independence hua magar uske 100 saal ke pehle that is 1846 mein morton naam ke dentist and medical student in boston boston mein harvard hota hai he is the one who first time demonstrated dental anesthesia hum मोर्टन को एक प्रणाम करना पड़ेगा भैया आपने पहली बार ये मोर्टन है मोर्टन ने पहली बार मोर्टन ने पहले बार एनेस्थीशिया का डिस्कवरी किया इसलिए इसको सादर प्रणाम करना पड़ेगा हमने एंड दिस इज द क्लासिकल इलेस्ट्रेशन which is still there tomorrow once you go to america one day and go to massachusetts then you will find what is called as a ether dome ether dome mein a illustration dekhna bhulna mat ye hai mr morton morton pehle baar anesthesia liya wo medical student tha and who was the surgeon who was operating biglow biglow was the surgeon who was operating that's what you need to remember so that is a bit of history now doctor ether ke bare mein 10 points you should know it is highly volatile it producing irritating vapors highly inflammable explosive in nature it is a potent anesthetic also a good analgesic it has a great muscle relaxant property and uh, ether is the one which has a maximum muscle relaxant property but since it is highly inflammable you cannot use it along with the cautery is what you need to remember it is highly soluble in the blood ether jo hota hai highly soluble in the blood the induction is prolonged very good ankit kumar also remembers it is morton uh yeah 001 is same sir fmg ke liye taiyari kaise kare fmg ho neat pg ho next exam ho fundamentally there are 30000 mcqs that you need to solve doctor we have done the discussion of all these 30000 mcqs from the question bank of uh, aim sol india neat pg fmg pgr jipma last 15 years of question papers and out of that we discovered that there are 953 topics to discover to revise 
and we provided those 953 topics on the online mbbs.com video library just enroll for it review you need to invest 600 hours of your time aapko powerpoint bhi mil jayega video bhi mil jayega uske revision karte hi aap mirror ke samne khade ho jao like lord buddha aapko ek like lord buddha you will get one ring around your head gyan ka ring mil jayega and that is the only way that you can be able to win either fmg or the tomorrow's neat pg exam there is no shortcut doctor jo batti marna hai batti marna hi padega right but only thing is you need to be focused for your preparation now doctor ether ether is unpleasant with marked amount of post operative nausea and vomiting that is a whole challenge and uh, ether is considered to be most emetogenic of all the inhalational agents it is a irritant it will increase the respiratory and salivary secretions is what you need to remember once upon a time this is a very old advertisement ether is the safest for the children this is what the big time advertisement about ether used to go on once upon a time now doctor ye hai mr morton magar morton jo discover kiya tha ether ko he died miserably in fact he committed he died in a very bad uh, shape but it is a uh, henry biglow he is the great man sorry horace wells horace wells he is mr horace wells ye banda horace wells hai na isne bahut popular kiya ether ko jahan bhi jao ether ke bare mein baat kiya hai isne so that is the reason doctor jo discover kiya wo miserably mar gaya magar jo promote kiya वो बहुत बड़पन से जिया सो दर इज अ रीजन डॉक्टर समटाइम्स यू नीड टू हैव ए गुड लक एंड फॉर्च्यून जस्ट नॉट द नॉलेज राइट सो इसलिए सीट मिलने के लिए भी लक होना पड़ेगा जैसे होरेस वेल्स को था नीट पीजी में एफ में मगर लक ऑलवेज मैरीज द मोस्ट प्रिपेयर्ड मैन इन द वर्ल्ड that is what you need to remember now doctor next comes a very important uh, story about ether when you give ether the bp is well maintained what is the cause of all the anesthetic accidents doctor why anesthesia lead to basically a uh, lot of accidents if you don't know how to maintain the bp if you don't know how to maintain the respiration that lead to death so bp and respiration are very well maintained by ether because it reflexly stimulates a very high sympathetic tone jab bhi adrenaline adrenaline beta 2 receptors ke upar kaam karega it lead to it lead to bronchodilatation so that is the reason bp and respiration are very well maintained second thing lot of the anesthetics they have a tendency to sensitize the heart to the adrenaline and lead to arrhythmias either se wo tension nahi hai bhaiya it does not sensitize the heart to adrenaline is what you need to remember so ether can lead to hyperglycemia that's reason it is contraindicated in diabetics anup is saying awesome sir very dedicated professor you are mere re pyare sathiyo aapko ek baat bolna chahta hu main jab aapke jaise wonderful students hai how can i inspire you guys 
read well, read great, read superb. Unless I show you that even at the age of 45, I can be awake at 3 a.m. in the morning and can be able to spend with you. Because I have one strong dream. All you guys, the super 2000 batch of Dr. Murli Bharadwaj should become the toppers. So that is the reason I myself will be awake at 3 a.m. and show you how you should prepare for the exam. Once more, thank you very much, Dr. Anup, for your excellent compliment. Right? Your compliments are uh, most important for uh, a guy like me, doctor. Yeah. Ether is very safe, absolutely safe. I still remember one of the old MBBS only doctor who used to practice in a village. Very old doctor. He is now about 85 year old. He has used ether left and right in the villages in India. Ether is very safe. It does not produce any cardiac or respiratory depression. So it can be very well used by the less experienced clients. Aapko, uh, yes, uh, you need to remember one thing. You don't need to do MD anesthesia to use the ether. Ether is the only complete anesthetic agent. It has all the properties of anesthesia. Uh, Abhijit is saying, one thing I want to request to you, Sarji. Batahiye, Abhijit, what do you want to request? Narcosis, analgesia, muscle relaxants. All these are the properties of the ether. Of course, it is not used nowadays because it is highly inflammable. It is highly explosive. But the only thing, doctor, though it is not used in neat PG exam, it is very well used. That's the reason you need to know everything about ETA. Now, doctor, our next important uh, topic of revision for today evening is how do you want to evaluate primary amenorrhea? Primary amenorrhea. Is the girl has attained her puberty, but menstruation did not stop. Start primary amenorrhea. Always do the pelvic examination, doctor. Pelvic examination. Uh, <laughs> Are bhaiya, Abhijit, kya baat kai rahe aap? Your voice recording of motivational speech for me on WhatsApp. Bhaiya, aap log mera jindagi hai. You guys are the purpose of my life. So that is the reason every day when I am in the hospital taking care of the patients, when I am talking to the patients, every time I feel, let me come back home quickly so that I can be able to deliver a class for all my need PG bachon ke liye. Right? So, no worries. They are all together, doctor. You are all going to become top specialists tomorrow. Like you, last 20 years, thousands of students of me were uh, sitting in a classroom thinking, humko milega ya nahi milega. Itna competition hai, humko milega ya nahi milega. But today they are top consultants. Some of them are neurosurgeons, some of them are neurologists, cardiothoracic surgeons, cardiologists. I enjoy being the teacher of all of them. So, doctor, Whenever there is a primary amenorrhea, bhaiya dekho, uterus hai ya nahi hai. Ye to dekhna padega aap. So, you have to check whether uterus is there or not. Or is the uterus absent? Uterus hai to hi menstruation hota. That's a common sense. Agar uterus hai, if you have done ultrasound, you need to look how is the serum FSH. If the FSH is increased, FSH kyo increase hota hai? Aap ek baat uh, samajhne ki jarurat hai. Yaha pituitary hai. These are the ovaries. 
ovaries produce estrogen estrogen right and who stimulates ovaries to produce estrogen doctor it is the pituitary which produces the fsh to produce the estrogen suppose if the ovary is not well developed estrogen production is decreased and that will make fsh levels to get elevated because estrogen jo hota hai its normal function is to inhibit its normal function is to inhibit the pituitary but if ovary is not producing estrogen there is no inhibition on the pituitary that's the reason fsh is elevated fsh is elevated barabar so that is the reason if the serum fsh is elevated you should think that the ovaries are not well developed so ovaries are not the well developed means what is the underlying cause turner syndrome you should remember what is the underlying cause doctor turner syndrome is something that you need to remember so turner syndrome need to be identified because it is the gonadal dysgenesis in which fsh is elevated fsh is elevated because the ovarian dysgenesis but uterus is present because it is not a mullerian abnormality now suppose if fsh is decreased that means pituitary mein kuch gadbad hai because pituitary mein gadbad hai fsh is not produced since fsh is not produced ovaries are not producing estrogen if the estrogen is not there endometrium is not proliferating and that is the reason there is a amenorrhea so that is the reason you need to do cranial mri is what you need to remember now let us say uterus is absent what do you want to do uterus is absent uh 001 is asking sir aapko motivate kaun karta hai this is a very good question मुझे मोटिवेट करता है आप सब लोग यू आर माय पिट्यूटरी डॉक्टर लेट मी टेल यू आई एम ओनली एड्रिनल एड्रिनल ग्लैंड राइट यू गाइस इवन एट थ्री ट्वेंटी एट ए एम यू आर ऑल अवेक मींस दैट इट सेल्फ इज अ स्ट्रॉन्ग स्टिमुलेटिंग फैक्टर फॉर मी नाउ डॉक्टर यूटरस इज एबसेंट दैट मींस there is a possibility of mullerian abnormality so that is the reason you need to do karyotype and serum testosterone levels suppose if the karyotype is xx normal female level female mein jo testosterone level hota hai wo level hai testosterone ka then you should think of mullerian abnormality whereas कैरियोटाइप में एक्स वाई निकला और मेल में जो टेस्टोस्टिरोन होता है वो लेवल है टेस्टोस्टिरोन का देन यू शुड थिंक ऑफ एंड्रोजन इनसेंसिटिविटी सिंड्रोम इज व्हाट यू हैव टू बेसिकली रिमेंबर राइट हाँ वेरी गुड गगन इज राइटली सेइंग इन मुलेरियन एबनॉर्मैलिटी मुलेरियन एबनॉर्मैलिटी मुलेरियन डक्स जो होता है भैया अपर विजयना तक उसका कंट्रीब्यूशन होता है लोअर विजयना इट डजेंट हैव ए कंट्रीब्यूशन दस रीजन व्हाट इज अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फीचर ऑफ एंड्रोजन इंसेंसिटिव सिंड्रोम ब्लाइंड यू शुड रिमेंबर वन वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फैक्ट डॉक्टर वन वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फैक्ट about uh, yeah now one very important fact about uh, 
uh, yeah, about Mullerian abnormality. What is that fact? You should remember Mullerian ducts. The Mullerian ducts. Uh, ducts. They only contribute up to upper upper vagina development. Upper vagina development. That is what you need to basically remember. Right? So once having had understood that, let us quickly go to the next important uh, clinical vignette. Now, a five-year-old boy, a five-year-old boy, uh, typically has a uh, uh, complaint of pain. He has got a Yeah. Complaint of pain, swelling, redness in both the legs. His parents have taken him to the health institution 40 days earlier because he had a fever. 10 day course of anti oral antibiotic has been given. He developed a swelling, erythema, warmth were detected in both the legs. There is a purulent discharge from the proximal end of the tibia. WBC count is elevated. C-reactive protein is elevated. ESR is elevated. And Brucella test, Vidal test, TB test, PPD, they are all negative. X-ray showing cortical destruction, increase in periosteal tissue. In the, am I clear, doctor? Do you want me to? Yeah. Yes. So you should remember that uh, he is also having uh, increased periosteal tissue reaction. On MRI, there is a marrow edema throughout both the tibias. There is an increased uptake of technetium at the site of infection that is in the metaphysis of the tibia. So what do you use your diagnosis doctor? What is your diagnosis? A very important question is osteomyelitis. Metaphysis, typically metaphysis is the one which is uh, most uh, frequently affected in uh, uh, metaphysis is the one which is most frequently affected in uh, osteomyelitis. Now doctor, one quick word about acute osteomyelitis. You should remember that Acute osteomyelitis usually affects the metaphysis. Why? Because the metaphysis area may you have a hairpin-like appear, hairpin-like uh, arrangement of blood vessels. The blood flow is very sluggish. So the bacteria from distant foci are carried by the blood. And that is the reason it is very common. Abhi batao, favorite MCQ in the tomorrow's exam. If you look at the osteomyelitis, osteomyelitis, you should remember uh, less than two months, what is the most common organism? Group B streptococcus and E. coli. 
टू मंथ्स टू फोर इयर्स इट इज किंग ले किंग मोर देन फोर इयर्स इट इज टेफिलोकॉकॉरियस एंड सिकल सेल डिजीज में डोंट फर्गेट salmonella staphylococcus are the ones which are implicated to lead to osteomyelitis now doctor aapko hum dikha rahe tomorrow need pg exam mein ye question barabar puchega examiner ne bhaiya aapko kya dikh raha hai isme in this uh, particular uh, image what you are able to see peri peri ventricular ventricular calcification calcification is what you are able to see doctor calcification abhi question aata hai very good gagan kuber rightly says peri ventricular calcification so you should be very sure on one of the favorite mcqs in the tomorrow's exam congenital infections hota na bhaiya isko kya bolte hain torch torch group of infections toxoplasma rubella cytomegalovirus herpes simplex aur isko bhait kehte hain torch kyunki syphilis bhi hai usme acha isme what are the findings what are the findings in this uh, situation you should remember hepatosplenomegaly jaundice blueberry mufflin spots iugr they are common to all the congenital infections but cmd mein specially hota hai periventricular calcifications toxoplasmiosis mein diffuse intracerebral calcifications if you see inside the eye you get chorioretinitis syphilis mein hota hai rhinorrhea bullous rash abnormal long bone radiographs they are the classical findings rubella mein you find cataracts and pda which is very classical of rubella so that is the story classical findings which you should not forget now doctor we reached a very very important area of our uh, discussion uh, it's called qt interval qt interval iska importance kya hai how do you calculate qt interval doctor a qrs complex dikh raha hai na bhaiya इसके स्टार्टिंग पॉइंट जो होता है वहां से शुरू करके टी वेव के एंड पॉइंट तक इसको कहते हैं क्यूटी इंटरवल क्यूटी इंटरवल नाउ व्हाट इज द इंपॉर्टेंस ऑफ क्यूटी इंटरवल व्हाट इज द इंपॉर्टेंस ऑफ क्यूटी इंटरवल यू शुड बी वेरी श्योर अबाउट राइट सो प्रोलॉन्गेशन ऑफ द क्यूटी इंटरवल कैन लीड टू ventricular tachycardia how will that ventricular tachycardia will be there it will be like this it will be like this so this is a ventricular tachycardia ventricular tachycardia once more we will go back and come back draw mm. so you should remember uh this is the this is the way you you get like a spindle so this spindle jo hota hai isko kehte hain polymorphic ventricular tachycardia doctor polymorphic ventricular tachycardia it is the classical feature of prolonged qt syndrome so this is a way you describe normal qt interval and this is how you describe long qt interval parabar now to make a diagnosis of qt interval always qt interval is take calculated in reference to the heart rate so you get a value called qtc qtc is equal to qt 
divided by square root of r r interval that is qtc so normal qtc is less than 440 milliseconds and uh, any qtc more than 500 milliseconds is considered to be a risk factor for developing polymorphic vt is what you need to remember now comes a very very important area for you to answer in the tomorrow's exam in fact you need to mug it up for the tomorrow's exam what is that uh, very important point of that hypocalcemia hypokalemia hypomagnesemia all of them they predispose to the development of prolonged qt macrolides fluoroquinolones antipsychotics tricyclics ssris ondansetron simple ondansetron antiemetic even that can prolong the qt quinidine procainamide flecainide imidron sotalol anything can prolong the qt interval then a prolonged qt can occur as a part of two important syndromes doctor jervell lange nielsen syndrome you should remember jervell lange nielsen syndrome why because long qt can occur in it but it is a autosomal recessive condition whereas romano ward syndrome it is a autosomal dominant condition this is the point you need to remember so now doctor let us talk about a little bit about congenital heart disease bhaiya left to right shunting ho gaya samjho left to right shunting if it happens what is the effect of left to right shunting it lead to tachypnea poor weight gain sweating with feeds because if there is a left to right shunt let us say there is a left to right shunt what is happening doctor typically this is the heart from the left towards the right shunting is happening that is causing more blood to flow into pulmonary artery from pulmonary artery blood ultimately goes through pulmonary vein into left atrium from left atrium the blood will go into 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 left ventricle into aorta so that is the reason any left to right shunt jo hota hai that will increase the cardiac output left to right shunt will lead to returning of the blood back to the left side and that lead to increased cardiac output that is the reason it lead to tachypnea poor weight gain and sweating with feeds what are the classical left to right shunts doctor vsd asd pda in sare cheezon mein agar aap pulse rate dekhe to pulse rate will be very high high pulse rate will be there what is this called hyperdynamic circulation is what you need to remember then what are the conditions that lead to right to left shunt right is bad left is good when bad boys talk with the good boys kya ho jata good boys will also become bad isliye cyanosis is typically seen when right to left shunt whereas left to right shunt is a cyanotic is what you need to remember what lead to cyanosis remember four t's in relation to cyanotic heart disease t for transposition of great vessels t for tetralogy of fallow t for tricuspid atresia t for truncus arteriosus these four t's may right wala blood which is deoxygenated is mixing with the left wala blood and making left impure is what you need to remember 
then what happens if there is any interruption of the left ventricular outflow? That lead to obviously shock. What is the meaning of shock? Any decreased blood flow that cannot be able to match the demand of the peripheral tissues is called shock. So typically you develop shock, severe acidosis. That is what happens in coactation of iota and hyperplastic left heart syndrome. Now, doctor, the next favorite question of the examiner, atopic dermatitis ka, atopic dermatitis mein log bahut scratch karna shuru karte. That lead to the development of uh, certain infectious complications. What are they? Impetigo can occur. That lead to that can be due to Staphylococcus aureus or pyogenes, painful non pruritic pustules with honey colored, honey crusted, adherent coating that defines the impetigo. Agar examiner ye de diya to aap ye answer de na hai parrot ke jese. Baya, painful non pruritic pustules with honey crusted adherent coating. The moment the examiner says that, you should say, Achha, ye in pity go hai. Then eczema herpeticum, it is caused by herpes simplex type 1. It is a painful vesicular rash, punched out erosions, hemorrhagic crusting that describes eczema herpeticum. So, I would like to know. How many of you are not yet sleepy? It is morning 3.47 a.m. 11 of you guys are not, of course, we should say 10 of you guys. Gagan Kubev, Amit Kumar and uh, Abhijit Vakhande, Badia, right? So, you are all that super, super um, um, 2000 batch of Dr. Murli Bhardwaj. That's a deal, right? Huh. Now, the next important point you need to know, Doctor, is, um, yeah, molluscum contagiosum. It is caused by pox virus. Flesh colored papules with the central umbilication. Matlab, agar ye lesion hai to, iske center mein umbilication hota hai. That is called as molluscum contagious. Tinea carporis, caused by trichophyton rubrum. Trichophyton rubrum. It is a pruritic circular patch with central clearing with raised scaly border. That is what you need to basically remember. Now, doctor, let us uh, look into a few things. Isko kya kete hai? Tinea capitis. Isko? Ebi tinea capitis. Tinea capitis ke baare mein aap panch vakya mein a short answer question ko answer karna bhaiya. So you should remember scaly erythematous patch on the scalp. That's how you describe tinea. A scaly hai. A scaly hai. Erythematous hai bhaiya. This is uh, erythematous patch. That is how you describe tinea capitis. There can be painful lymphadenopathy, human to human or fomite transmission. If your roommate's comb is used, it can be used in your tinea cactus. In the KOH examination, mein, you can be able to document the spores. How do you treat? Oral grisofulvin. Oral grisofulvin. Nothing else. That is the first line. You can also use terbinafine, itraconazole, fluconazole. Barabar? Achcha. 
ये पेरिफेरल स्मियर को देख के बताओ भैया ये क्या है हु इज गोइंग टू गिव मी द करेक्ट आंसर गगन अभिजीत अंकित एंड मेनी मोर हु आर ऑल ऑनलाइन यस इट इज मॉर्निंग 3:51 फिफ्टी एम आई वॉन्ट टू चेक हाउ मेनी ऑफ यू गाइज आर कमिटेड टू बिकम द टॉपर देखो भैया टॉपर होता है ड्रीम हर एक ख्वाब देख सकते मगर ख्वाब के लिए काम करके कामयाब होके दिखाने वाले दुनिया में सैकड़ों लोग में एक पैदा होता है वो है यू गाइस द सुपर 2000 बैच ऑफ डॉक्टर मुरली भरद्वाज वेरी गुड एंड थैंक यू फॉर पार्टिसिपेटिंग इन दिस अर्ली मॉर्निंग चाय पे चर्चा विद डॉक्टर मुरली भारद्वाज बढ़िया वेरी गुड गगन कुबेर से हेरिडिटरी स्पिरोसाइटोसिस अच्छा आपको स्पिरोसाइट दिख रहे हैं ना बढ़िया वेरी गुड सो क्विकली फाइव पॉइंट अबाउट हेरिडिटरी स्पिरोसाइटोसिस बात करेंगे हम हाँ सो डॉक्टर हेरिडिटरी स्पिरोसाइटोसिस You should remember that it is a autosomal dominant inheritance. इसमें होता है hemolytic anemia, jaundice, splenomegaly, mean corpuscular hemoglobin concentration. उसका मतलब इसको कहते हैं M C H C. बराबर. So Yum C H C become typically elevated, typically elevated in the case of hereditary cirrhosis. Coombs test is negative, very important of that. Basically, hereditary cirrhosis में hemolysis होता है, but that is not autoimmune. क्यों होता है hemolysis? नागपुर के संतरे के जैसे राउंड राउंड बन जाता है आरबीसी नागपुर का संतरे के जैसे राउंड राउंड बन जाता है आरबीसी इस आरबीसी को स्मॉल नैरो लूमेन से नेगोशिएट करना नहीं आता जब वो स्प्लीन से चलता है स्प्लीन इसको ब्रेक डाउन कर देता so it is not autoimmune that is the reason what is the favorite question of the neat pg examiner doctor negative coombs test kal ke exam mein definitely a question aane wala hai hereditary cirrhosis mein coombs test positive or negative aap confidence ke sath bolna negative coombs test there is a increased osmotic fragility If you use acidified glycerol lysis test, there is an abnormal eosin five millimide binding test. Eosin five millimide binding test in case of hereditary cirrhosis. How do you treat up? Folic acid supplementation, blood transfusion, splenectomy. They are all the treatment. Hereditary cirrhosis may होता है pigment gallstones. फार्मोवाइरस बी नाइनटीन इंफेक्शन हुए तो सत्यानाश हो जाएगा हेरिडरी सेरोसाइटोसिस और सिकल सेल एनीमिया में फार्मोवाइरस बी नाइनटीन दुश्मन होता है अगर ये है तो टिपिकली देर इज अ डेवलपमेंट ऑफ ए प्लास्टिक क्राइसिस दैट इज वॉट यू नीड टू रिमेंबर नाउ डॉक्टर द नेक्स्ट फेवरेट क्लिनिकल विनियट फॉर टुमारो स्लीट पी जी एग्जाम यहां आपको थंब के जैसे दिख रहे हैं क्या दिख रहे हैं आपको स्वोलन एपिग्लॉटिस भैया ये स्वोलन एपिग्लॉटिस होता है ये नॉर्मल एपिग्लॉटिस है ये स्वोलन एपिग्लॉटिस के वजह से रेस्पिरेटरी ऑब्स्ट्रक्शन हो जाता है दैट इज द स्टोरी ऑफ एक्यूट एपिग्लॉटिस फटाफट बोलो What is it because of Haemophilus influenzae type B, even Streptococcus, Staphylococcus, non-typeable H, 
influenza anything can cause but very commonly H influenza type B that there is a respiratory distress because respiratory tract block ho gaya Gagan Kuber is saying thumb sign ko yaad rakhna so patient will go into a tripod position tripod ke jese bed jata dysphagia drooling of saliva classical features thumb print sign with the enlarged epiglottis loss of the pellicular space so keep the child calm and comfortable in emergency you may need to do endotracheal endotracheal intubation endotracheal intubation is what you have to remember this is a life threatening condition leading to respiratory embarrassment please don't forget now doctor let us talk about the various rashes that you come across in the tomorrow's neat pg exam bhaiya ye rash ko dekh ke aap recognize karna hai scarlet fever ko similarly scarlet fever mein rash aisa hota hai which are not going to forget very good ankit says erythromycin penicillin is the treatment for epiglottitis absolutely right absolutely right so doctor scarlet fever appears initially on the neck axilla and groin and then it becomes generalized it starts towards the end of the first week desquamation begins in the face it progresses towards the trunk and finally extends to hands and feet that's what you should remember now aapko which ice cream yaad aa rahe bhaiya aapko strawberry strawberry tongue where do you see kawasaki but kawasaki can be confused for scarlet kyun scarlet may be strawberry kawasaki may be strawberry dono mein strawberry tongue hota hai but very important to say that it is kawasaki is the criteria of kawasaki and uh, agar aap penicillin diye to scarlet adrushya ho jayega it will disappear that is an important proof and another thing nikolsky sign negativity there is a rash but there is a nikolsky sign negativity is what you need to basically remember so doc uh, let us look into the criteria criteria of scarlet fever right ha huh. this is the favorite question of the examiner so many times we discussed about uh, the scarlet fever and kawasaki but the point is how you are able to remember it reproduce it that is very very important right so doc um let's, let's talk about the scarlet fever now and kawasaki disease kawasaki disease mein criteria kya hota hai what is the criteria you should always remember very carefully remember at least 5 days very important kawasaki disease bolne ke liye there are changes in extremities polymorphous exanthems bilateral conjunctival injection changes in the lip and oral cavity cervical lymphadenopathy that is classical there is classical findings that prove that this rash is kawasaki 
काम सैकी को कहते हैं लिम्फ एडिनाइटिस इट इज ए वास्कुलाइटिस फंडामेंटली इट इज इट इज ए वास्कुलाइटिस इन्वॉल्विंग खरोनरीज इज वॉट यू नीड टू रिमेंबर भैया इस बच्चे को देखे तो आपको क्या लग रहा है टुमारो डिट्टो डिट्टो सेम इमेज बेस्ड एमसीक्यू एग्जामिनर निकालेगा कल के नीट पीजी एग्जाम में सो लुकिंग एट दिस यू शुड बी इन ए पोजीशन दिस लीजेंस इफ यू अप्लाई प्रेशर दे गेट सेपरेटेड निकॉल्स की पॉजिटिव दिस इज स्टेफाइलोकॉकल scalded scale skin syndrome it is caused by staphylococcus aureus there are bullae there is a exfoliation of the skin it is rare after 5 years isliye yahan aapko bachcha dikh raha hai theek hai and nikolsky is positive then agar ye lesion dekhe to aapko kya lag raha hai or if you are seeing these lesions classically what comes to your mind it is toxic epidermal necrolysis it is a hypersensitivity a variant of steven johnson and three important drugs you should remember doctor sulfur drugs anti convulsants and nsaids any of them can lead to 10 it is very similar to staphylococcal scalded skin syndrome extensive erythema tenderness blisters followed by exfoliation mucous membranes are severely affected there is a shedding of nails and nikolsky is positive one end of the spectrum is erythema multiforme other end of the spectrum is the toxic epidermal necrolysis is what you need to basically remember सो so, डॉक्टर इसको देखे तो आपको क्या याद आ रहा है ये है स्टीवन जॉनसन दिस ऑल्सो एन अदर एग्जाम्पल ऑफ ए बेबी हु हैड स्टीवन जॉनसन सो इट इज अवियर मोस्ट सिवियर वेरियंट ऑफ एरिथिमा मल्टीफॉर्मे इट इज फॉलोड बाय बुल्ले ऑफ टू और मोर म्यूकस मेम्रेन्स sometimes gi sometimes gu even genital urinary tract can be involved so that brings us to the end of this one hour marathon badhiya abhi 4 am in the morning beautiful so thank you very much to be part of my life in this early morning preparation for the neat pg quickly doctor let me once more reinforce for you a quick commercial subscribe to onlinembbs.com video library 600 hours of video lectures 2 lakh powerpoint slides 30000 mcqs for which are being discussed debated like this and placed on the video library 953 high yield topics every sunday there is a neat pg full scale grant test with discussion and every day new video lectures are added a live online broadcast sessions are there and uh, call 9000868356 in order to get the subscription why to wait another 3 months need pg to go take a 3 month subscription in order to enjoy the full panorama of encyclopedic knowledge once more doctor आप सबके साथ हम एक ही खाली एक ख्वाब देख रहे हैं वो ख्वाब क्या है बोलो फटाफट वो ख्वाब होता है टू बिकम ए टॉपर बाय नेक्स्ट फेब्रवरी वी आर गोइंग टू बिकम एम डी जनरल मेडिसिन एम एस जनरल सर्जरी एम एस ऑर्थोपेडिक्स एंड वंस यू आर एम डी यू आर एम डी फॉर एवर वंस यू आर एम एस यू आर एम एस फॉर एवर and never in our life a wonderful time like this an opportunity to revise all the 19 subjects the last opportunity never in this life will come so that is the reason next 90 days 
let us take a pledge that we will only dream of being successful and I'm always there with you all guys to be your classmate whatsapp mate everything for your need PG preparation good night good morning and a great day ahead September 21st today you are going to get inspired and read another 10 to 12 hours in that same inspiration and same dream as what I am dreaming now. Good night. Let's catch up. Thank you.